inside yourself. Hey guys, it's your girl Valerie Ortiz here and you're watching American Latino TV celebrating American Latino pride. And if any of you out there are finding yourselves living too much in the past or obsessing over the future, take it from this week's stories and put more focus on simply living and enjoying today. And few extreme athletes live for today like Paul Rodriguez Jr. or as we know him, P-Rod. The son of a legendary comedian has been at the top of the skateboarding world for years. Some might say he's even reached icon status thanks in part to his multiple X Games gold medals. But now it's not just about winning competitions for P-Rod, it's about building an empire as well as giving back. This is Paul Rodriguez Jr. on American Latino TV. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. The event today is to celebrate Go Skateboarding Day. And, you know, we're here at the Santa Monica Courthouse, which in skateboarding for over 20 years, this has been a very iconic and legendary skate spot. A lot of skateboard history has gone down here. I personally have spent a lot of my young years here every weekend for hours on end. Go Skate Day for us and our little family is a holiday. I'm excited to see Pira, Nick Tucker, basically everybody. We're going to give away some more Nike Pira eggs. I'm lucky to be with Nike, and Nike has the strength and the pull to get in contact with the city to help us make this place skatable again. Oh, Nike, you know, yeah. they were a huge company before they came into skateboarding, and uh, skaters were very protective of what we do. So when Nike came in, it was very smart of them to come in on a small level, grassroots level, get to know the culture, get embedded in the culture, and become skaters. They have helped so much grow the sport, and for it to be not mainstream in a bad way, mainstream in the sense that it's accessible to so many more people now. It's just um, awesome that it's become that way instead of just being like sort of an outcast activity. It's been 14 yeah. years now, and here we're at a point where Nike has grown. Yeah, Within skateboarding, it was little. Yeah, so it grew to the biggest brand in skateboarding now. So it's been a very long journey, and I've been very thankful to be a part of it for the last 10 years. Although Paul Rodriguez Jr. has made quite a name for himself in the skateboarding world, his new priority in life is making his mark in the business world through an ever-expanding brand that not only helps put skateboarding in the mainstream, it allows him to give back to all the young fans who look up to him. We just launched Primitive Skateboards. Uh, April 10th, and I couldn't ask for a better reception from the skateboard community. Uh, I'm very proud to have Nick Tucker and Carlos Rivero on the team. Those are guys who I've been huge fans of the past few years. They've really been making their mark on skateboarding, and I'm thankful to have the opportunity to help get them to that skate superstar level. It's an incredible feeling when you see a bunch of people who get so excited to see you and come out and and support what you're doing because I was these kids. Like I was any one of these young kids with a dream. It's sometimes it's weird to me to be on the other side and be the person that they come to see because I was coming to see my favorite skater. I, I came to watch them do their thing. And you know, sometimes I gotta pinch myself and remind myself that, you know, the 14 year old version of me would, would be like tripping out on if he knew what my future was, you know. 